Thank you, Tony. Uh, I attended a couple of the different sessions. We, uh, as we have promised to do, we are trying to cover as many of the sessions as possible throughout the course of, the, uh, the, of today, yesterday, and tomorrow. Uh, what I covered today was a number of issues relating to cohort default rates. Uh, the most productive session of the ones that I attended was the session with the multiple servicers. Uh, a great number of takeaways from that, from that particular session, first and foremost, is the addition of, as I said yesterday, 15 new guarantee agencies as part of the servicing process. Mohila is the newest addition, along with Sally Mae, Nelnet, FIA, and Great Lakes, to be added and was actually up on the podium and taking and fielding questions. A lot of the discussion centered around the continued concerns of how to ensure that the student as well as the institution is getting accurate information from the department and from the servicers on who holds the loans, who is in control of the loans, and where, where the loans are being taken and, and how they're being serviced. Uh, a great deal of discussion about what it was going to look like when the multiple numbers of servicers continue to increase. And a number of discussion points are centered around the fact that the department truly is trying to engage institutions more in the process of gaining access and being the go-between between the institutions and all of the new servicers as well as the existing servicers within the programs. The new title for all of those pro all of those servicers are TIVAs. It's an institution, it's a new acronym that we get to learn uh, as we look at the new direct loan program and the continuing to mature direct loan program. Uh, also, the last session of the day that we attended was gainful employment. Uh, if there was one major takeaway that I would stress with regard to gainful employment in the question and answer period, it is that this is continuing to be a changing environment with more questions than there are answers. Uh, on a number of times throughout the course of the Q&A, the department openly admitted that they were going to have to go back and reconsider additional ideas or additional concepts. As a result of that, we can be assured that IFAP and the site and website with regard to gainful employment is likely to have a number of new questions and answers added to them uh, in the weeks and months ahead. Major takeaway, as I said, the fact that it continues to be a transition uh, and that it continues to be something that the department is going to work with schools on uh, for everything from disclosures and reporting to as, uh, as well as other information. With that, kick it back to Tony for one final thought and the end of day two.